First tonight, a Queen City News exclusive. We are hearing from a Gastonia man who survived a vicious baseball bat attack. And the entire incident was caught on camera. We do want to warn you tonight that the video is very graphic and could be very hard to watch. Now, the footage you see here shows a man with a hoodie and gloves walk up to another man outside a hotel before hitting him with the bat. A lawyer representing a man named Marlo Ross says his client was struck about 40 times Ross survived the attack, but he has serious injuries. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis sat down with the man. And Will, it was an emotional conversation tonight, right? Yeah, it sure was, Brian and Alicia. Marlo Ross is originally from Louisiana, and he lost everything during Hurricane Katrina. He was homeless, started rebuilding his life in Atlanta, and then continued to work in Gastonia. Ross says recently he opened a bank account, got a truck, and was getting a steady paycheck. Then he told me heartbreak on Valentine's Day, the day he was beat and lost everything. Sitting with Marlo Ross, all you have to say is the video. It's a video he's watched numerous times and says it plays in his head over and over. I can't imagine that happening to anyone. And the thing about it, like I said, I really didn't feel the pain at that time. This was in February, Valentine's Day, when Ross was going to help a co-worker at the Quality Inn on Cox Road in Gastonia. You see, prior to Ross walking, a man wearing a hoodie and carrying a baseball bat. The man walked out of the front office. When he came up, he said, excuse me, sir, that's your truck? I said, yeah. So I'm like walking around him about to talk about the truck. Next thing you know, I felt something hit me. In the video, Ross was knocked unconscious, came to. Says he's got to stop sooner or later. So just lay there, take what he's given. He's got to stop. And knocked unconscious again hit close to 40 times by a person he didn't know. I got beat, if you see the video, like somebody playing a xylophone, back and forth, head, back, leg. Marlo Ross was taken to the hospital with a concussion, broken arm, and broken ribs. He has no insurance, and a workman's compensation claim was denied because Ross took the day off from work, but remained on call, according to his attorney. Ross is a Hurricane Katrina survivor, and after 17 years, he says he was finally getting a steady paycheck. I come from being homeless and to own something, felt oh, good. The only thing I wanted in my life is somewhere to stay. As for the man who did this? I'm still here for a reason. The law still got me here. It looked like it's kind of cloudy out there. Yeah, so tough. The man who allegedly hit Ross with the bat, 26-year-old Tony Nash, has posted bail and was released from the Gaston County Jail back in April and is facing an attempted murder charge. Friends and colleagues are helping Marlo Ross with expenses. Alicia? Such a tragic story.